Today's wine we're going to be using on the show is from Eagle's Nest, uh, their Shiraz. Incredible vineyard from South Africa. Eagle's Nest located on the crest of Constantia. It's nestled at the foot of an awe-inspiring table mountain. I mean, the, the view is just breathtaking. This pristine and boutique family-owned vineyard has in recent years gained a striking reputation for both its beauty and award-winning wines. And they have definitely won a ton of uh, awards, folks. Uniquely characteristic of its wines and its signatures of finesse, uh, derived from the cooler climate conditions its wines are exposed to as a result of its elevation and close proximity to the ocean body uh, that is False Bay, thus delivering very distinctive wines not found anywhere uh, else in South Africa. You, you definitely um, taste that in the wine itself, especially if, if, if you know wines in that area. So the Eagle's Nest Shiraz is bright, fresh, lively purple color. On the nose, aromas of ripe, red berry fruit, crushed red pepper, kernel, violets, and savory crushed bramble leaf, uh, a creamy mouth filling tannin. With integrated pepper spice, embrace uh, everyone's taste buds and really deliciously dry. The wine screams cooler vintage with elegant spice and restrained fruit from all focus from balances of acidity. A truly great wine for um, maturing vineyards. This wine will age gracefully for 15 years. Uh, I mean, just goes totally outstanding with what we're cooking today. All right, so now we're going to get started on another great show. Welcome. And today it's all about the steak. Steak and salad, I should say. Now many people have had veal milanese, steak milanese, where you take the steak, you know, you pound it down ever so slightly, you bread it, you fry it. This is kind of similar to the way we're going. We're going to be a little creative, a little artsy with it. We're going to be using some incredible products today. We're using um, this infused oil and vinegar.com here. Infused oil and vinegars.com. We're using the extra virgin olive oil and their Sherry Reserva wine vinegar. Um, we're going to be using these two. We're going to be using Cheeky Boy sauces and uh, my good friends here uh, who have some incredible biscuits. And uh, that's going to be coming from our folks at uh, uocfood.com. All right, so now we're going to get started on what we're doing. Today we're working with a Dakota grass fed beef. This is their uh, New York strip steak. You want to use either a New York strip or a filet mignon or something like that because uh, you don't want it to be tough. You want to be able to pound it down. I wouldn't suggest using a ribeye because there's just too much fat and everything else. All right, now you want to make sure that uh, you take the toast point and you're going you're gonna to dredge it in a little bit of sherry vinegar. This is the Sherry Reserver wine vinegar. And it's really going to cut through uh, some of the fat, uh, but I want you to let it sit here just a little bit and be generous with the olive oil. This is going to be the basis of building our plate, okay? We got some regular breadcrumbs. You could take these, put them in a blender, you know, and then you're going to have this. You can use gluten-free. I've been getting on this gluten-free kick. Uh, you can go pick up some really good gluten-free breadcrumbs. 4C has probably got the best gluten-free breadcrumbs out there for sure. Okay, so here it is. This is the New York Strip, butterflied and pounded out very nicely. And we're gonna leave that in there, but first we're gonna actually hit a little bit of oil to our pan here. I always like, like, like really frying in really good quality extra virgin olive oil and stuff like that. It really makes the flavor really good. So you might be spending a little bit more just to, to fry in some more expensive stuff, but believe me folks, it's worth it. Be good to what you put in your body. My grandmother used to say that. Don't, you be cheap with a lot of other things, but when it comes to food, it's gotta be top quality. You deserve it, you're the best. All right, we breaded this. This is all we're looking for. We're not dredging this. You ever go some places where you get your milanese and it's like they only put a little bit of beef but it's all breading? This is the opposite, we want all meat. Goes right down in here. All right, now when you can move it around in the pan, you know it's not gonna stick, right? If you needed to pick it back up, that's what we want. Okay, now. This is not a difficult recipe, folks, by any stretch of the imagination, but the assembly could use a little bit of expertise and guidance, right? So what we're gonna do is just take a regular plate here, and I don't know about you guys at home, but I like my beef mid-rare. Now we got some Cheeky Boy sauce today. This is their hot mayo sauce. This is a winner on sandwiches. However, I felt it goes really good on steak. So just in its finished form, what we're gonna do is 
put our cheeky boy sauce around the corner like that. We're gonna take our bread. Now, if you notice now, our bread is, is very like loose. It could break apart. That's what we want, right? We don't want to bite into a crispy piece of beef. It's flavored, it's seasoned. Next thing we're gonna do is take our beef, turn it over. We're looking for a mid rare so I'm gonna cut that because there's gonna be some carryover cooking. Uh, next, I'm gonna season these greens. We have a whole bunch of really nice looking greens. We have sunset sprouts, shoe sprouts, chevlet, red oak, green pear, green adami. All right, we're gonna take a little bit of our olive oil, just a little bit. And we're gonna put a little bit of salt. Now you never wanna put any acid on top of microgreens because they'll go flat quickly. And you always wanna season your microgreens with salt and of course cracked black pepper. Now we toss in this baby up. Now we got some flavor on there, right? You don't just wanna be eating plain greens, or maybe you do, who knows. But today we're gonna to be seasoning it. Now we're gonna take our steak off the fire. Mid-rare, let's see if we've accomplished that. Beautiful. All right, now we're gonna assemble this. We're gonna take the steak down first. We're gonna take some bocaccini mozzarella. Look how beautiful and soft this is, right? We're gonna turn it inside out. Don't ask me what it does when you turn it inside out, but you do. We're gonna break it like that. We're gonna put another piece on top like this. And this, you know, the you got the hot steak here, and what it's going to do is actually soften the mozzarella up nicely. And that's exactly what we want. And we're going to take our greens and try to get as high as we can on this plate. That's about what we're going to be doing. Next, what we're going to do is put some cracked black pepper all over this, and a little bit more of the. Cheeky boy sauce. Cheeky boy! You gotta be an architect with this stuff. All right. My version of the steak milanese with the bocconcini. I mean bocconcini, really good stuff from Crave Brothers, folks. We got some mozzarella here. We got some steak fried, just mid-rare the way I like it hot sauce around the side, and I'd say you're going to lose me for about two hours. Thank you for watching this fun-filled episode of Taste This TV. I'm your host, Chef Joe Simonera. Remember, there are no rules in cooking, certainly not making steak milanese. Taste this.